Alright, it's that time once again for another Ash Man Trash Can, August the 23rd, 2024. Looks like we got a handful of maniacs up in the house, man. I'm on my bud, DK. We have, what, five healers? Alliance got five healers as well. They got three tanks. We have one. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Let's see. They got a few that are rushing down the middle. Is this going to be a boss rush attempt? Well, nine times out of ten, that's pretty much what all, all matches are in Ashran. People just want to get the match over with as quickly as possible instead of PvPing. And that's getting really bad. Just got to intercept them, though. If you can take them out before they even get to your base, then you can force the fight in PvP. I'm already over here to the side of their base. We are pushing in. Let's see. We're going to try to do a boss rush, too. This is, like I said, one of the first matches in the War Within that we got to level 80 here. Wow, yeah. NPCs are just totally destroying. Doesn't work for the back door anymore. That's right, because NPCs were not demoralized and gutted, man. They basically gutted them, for sure. They used to have a shit ton of health, and they would hit for millions at a time. I mean, they were probably a little overtuned, sure, but should they have been nerfed as much as they were? Not so much. It's pretty much almost impossible to take out the mages and stuff, too. Got a lot of stuff going on here right now with the team fight. All the rest of our team are starting to come up from the rear. That ice wall is trying to block us off. I'm still alive, though. Granted, Bud got nerfed pretty big time. That's why I go down with the ship there. We're falling back to our mage tower. We are on the run. We're going to have to turn this one around if we want to make sure it ends up as a W. Let's see. Going to go up to our mage. Let's see how much the mage hits for up here. <laughs> Let's go up and see. Uh, not so much yet. Can't tell how much help the mage has. But doesn't look like they're going down that quickly. If memory serves, the mage was hitting really hard back here. This is like I said at the very beginning. When the first season hasn't even launched yet, right? This is just the war within. Not even season one yet. Gonna go ahead and bubble that. Yeah, the mage's health is only at 96. They didn't do a lot of damage to him, but they are a tank, so you can't really expect a ton of burst. Now we got Druid up top here. Hey, he knocks some people off there. And he gets knocked out of here as well. They're all trying to swarm their mage tower. They want to take out our mage and get that 30 points, man. <laughs> yeah, some of these NPCs in here were doing as much damage as like the bosses. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see when that comes up. Can we save our mage is the next question. We have a lot of people that are up here. We're all kind of grouped up. Some people are still on our bridge, though. We got to push out of the base and get up to the mage tower, man. There's a mage I'm fighting. I can still have all the nameplate cooldowns on. You can see it's cluttering up the screen. Eventually, I will turn that off so that it is just on for my target, which is a thousand times better, and the screen gets a lot less cluttered. I got a lot of people in the comments will say, yeah, your UI is shit, but I swear I use everything that's on this screen. <laughs> there's always a um, use for everything, and there's a method to my madness. Mage is still at 89%. It's taking forever. They're not doing a whole lot of damage to the mage. I ran down, ran off the steps there. That's never good. Gonna fight Goofy down here at the bottom. See if we can take him out. Got stunned. Doesn't matter though. They're gonna run back up. The mage is still at 82. I think we can still wipe him here. This is a match at level 80, I'm assuming. That is one thing I do not have on my UI is to say what level I am because majority of the time all these matches I'm at max level anyway. I'm getting hit up pretty good though. Can I stay alive and survive? They have a lot up here. We got to take some targets out. Got to send some of these fools back to the graveyard. Some mage over those sides got the ice block trying to take out this druid. Yep, druid's down. Get some help from our mage. Hopefully the mage will start attacking somebody. Watch out for that ring. I got knocked into it. I'm still on the side though, so I think I should be fine. Use the anti-magic shell to get around the stun. Trying to grip moon water. Got to grip them. Um, moon water, get over here. <laughs> Let's play some Mortal Kombat. They're going to ice block. Going to get on the other mage. 
Our mage is at 36, though. We need to get some people inside of the tower. We got most of them down. Not sure if the mage is actually doing most of the DPS up here or not, though. <laughs> Very possible. Considering if you look over there at the damage done, I am ninth on the list right there, and I am the top healer right now as well. <laughs> Man, we got most of them out of our mage tower, so now it's time to get our mage healed back up slowly going up man how much hp does the mage have because look how much the heals are going off 0.2 percent 0.3 percent from one hill that is nuts man that's got to be a tremendous hp pool really that's the guy's name <laughs> okay well let's take down ass casters i guess they're gonna try to go into our mage tower still everybody wants to rush the mage granted i mean they did get it down to like 30 something percent but hey we got heals going up slowly we do not have any of the good toys, though. If we would have that toy, we could fill the mage back to full with the Yulon toy. Or egg, or whatever it is. In any case, we haven't even been over to rock, so I'm not even sure how hard the ogres hit. Healers don't die right now. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, to be fair, that's actually true to this day. <laughs> if you don't have a ton of people attacking a healer, they are not going down. Most classes are almost indestructible for sure. We got that one down finally. I think the only reason that was able to die is because the mage was helping DPS. Now we're going to take out the hunter. Hey, just let them keep coming up to this tower, man. They are way ahead of us in score right now, though. 123 to 98. They are gaining. We got to start closing that gap, though. They still sending more and more up here. I'm just going to keep fighting... For our mage, 61%. That's all the heals we're able to heal it up to right now. Man, it takes, what, five minutes just to heal the mage back to full from 30%. <laughs> Banksy's up here. We got a warrior, DK, mage. That's one thing, too, it's about these nameplates. When you got them all like this, it's hard to tell which ones are actually up here up top. There's Goofy going down. Loot all these bodies, man. There we go. Looting the body. Make sure they got a long run back. We're trying to protect our mage, and we're fighting close to home, so that way our dead do not have that far to run back. It is a sound strategy. Granted, I mean, it's a very slow strategy because it relies on your opponent coming to you, which most of the time they will. One of the sides will eventually get bored and just tired of sitting around, and then somebody will start pushing. Bald guy's up here. Got a turtle going off. Just watch out for any of those knockbacks. You don't want to see any explosive traps. He's got explosive trap on cooldown there. 12 seconds you can see on the nameplate cooldown. A lot of these first matches here in the War Within were actually pretty long matches because you couldn't kill the bosses. There was a lot of stuff going on where the mechanics were just insane. In ILC, I think the boss had over 3 billion health. So yeah, and he was hitting players for, you know, 8, 10, 12 million, even tanks. It was pretty rough and disgusting. I know we got a video coming up where we were fighting in ILC and we killed the boss, but we had like 150 deaths from the boss or something crazy like that. The Lions had the same amount of deaths. Both teams just said, hey, screw this. We're not trying to fight in ILC for three hours. We both just said, let's start killing the boss and see whoever kills the boss first will win the match. And it took quite a while. And both sides lost 100, 150 people or more. <laughs> Very interesting match. They changed up the meta, obviously. Vehicles had a ton of HP, and then they got nerfed, and it's like Glaives are not even viable anymore. We did cap F1 here. That's good news for us. Hopefully, we can start pushing them off. We're closing that gap, though. Look at that. 95 to 83 score. We had a rogue that was looking at their mage, but only got the mage down 1%. So we'll see how it goes from there. <laughs> That's not much damage, especially when those mages got lots and lots of HP. They got probably close to a billion, I would say. I don't know. I didn't have the mage targeted to see. You can probably go back in the video. Maybe at some point I did target the mage. It does say the amount of HP on there. I'm trying to just stay alive here. Oh, that NPC is fucking me up right now. <laughs> got to get rid of Hildy. Hildy has got low health. Five or six million left at 10%. That's not a ton. Some of them are insane for the amount they got. And I noticed too, 
there was a really small window where the NPCs were actually hitting harder as non-elite than they are as the elite ones too. Some of the normal just NPCs were just wrecking face. They would hit people 8, 9 million with this one blow. Hey, I got hit up pretty good there. Purgatory, have to come back to the fight. They are getting a little bit of a lead on us again. We only have a 20 point deficit to come back from. We can still do this though. Oh man, we got that warlock there. They tried to get out of there with that gateway. Died on the way through. Watch out for the mage. Ring of fire. Finish him. Nice. Go on to the next target. Who's going to be the next kill target? Their top damage is an evoker right now. Ozzy. Looks like it's devastation as well. Got the mage up front. Finish him. Got him. Nice. Now we got to deal with some DKs. They do have, what, four grippers, two blood DKs and two unholy we take out their ability to grip then we should be pretty good that's the problem now is they're gripping people in and just finishing everybody so i'm trying to take out their grippers get them out of the equation here that's also another battle res they lose to because dk's do have the ability raise ally finish off the blood dk's dead yes we should be able to get him down purgatory nice got him now finish the next dk non-tank oh he's gonna get away i hit chains of ice on him but he still gets away gotta throw out that kill macro man sometimes the macro gets a little bit overwhelming i understand there's a lot of people that say hey too many raid warnings too many raid warnings but hey sometimes the action is fast and you gotta call it out quick otherwise the target's not gonna go down especially when it's this close in score 79 to 67 man gotta close this gap it does make the matches a lot more interesting whenever it is very equal on both sides like this. Blizzard didn't screw either team from having way too many healers or something crazy like that. Can we get the Blood DK down? No, we're not going to get the Blood DK. <laughs> Stop attacking the Blood DK. Let's get on Indy the healer. I'm trying to grip him back. Nice. Uh-oh. That goofy druid got a rebirth off too. But hey, it might work to our favor. We did get the healer down. They only have one healer left. Looks like it's the priest. Take out that priest, and then the rest of them will be backpedaling for sure. They won't be able to stand a chance with having no healer up here supporting them. There it is. Got him. Take him out. Bye bye Now we're really closing the gap. Now 69 to 65. Who's going to be our next kill target? Uh, warrior or hunter maybe? Warrior, yeah. Get that warrior out of here. Send him to the graveyard. Come on. He's got a couple of self-heals, but hunter dies through turtle. Even better. Now their pally tanks up here because the blood DKs are gone. Pally's going to use his bubble and go ahead and disorient everybody by running through them with their ability there. That's too bad. Do we have to stay and fight back here though is the question. F2 looks like it is capable for us. Problem is, do we have enough force to push on top of it and take control? We're killing the feral druid now. Score is not quite tied, but it's getting close, man. 65 to 64. That gap has closed a lot. The evokers can now turn? That's weird, right? They do that little flyby, and apparently they can move and maneuver now, too. You saw like it came up towards us and then turned around and went back the other way. <laughs> That's definitely new for sure. Uh, finish off the warlock. He tried to gateway away. Not going to work out so well for you. Loot the dead-ass body. Now they're coming back because they got their healers back, so they're going to start pushing again. Score is dead even, man. Tied. Let's get rid of ass casters once again. Pull them around the pillar. Finish them. Nice. That's what I like to see. When you grip the target, I like it when they get gobbled and get sent back to the graveyard. They did cap this flag, though, so we're not going to be able to cap. They're gripping me in now. That's not really a great plan to do as a Blood DK, but I'm going to fall back a little bit too because they had a way too many up there. That was definitely a hot zone. I don't want to be in the middle of all of them right now, especially when I didn't have anything but, what, green gear? No conquest pieces at all because the season hasn't started? Yeah. The Blood DK really felt pretty weak, I guess, at the beginning of the season. It's starting to feel a lot better now, now that you're actually getting more conquest and most of the pieces are already fully conquested out now. I think I only got maybe one or two more pieces that I even want to even change. Like getting from some world PvP slots over to the conquest piece for the 
extra three item levels and whatever stats I want to put on it from a crafted piece. That's another thing I really do like about the War Within. The crafting system has been pretty insane. You can pretty much craft almost every single slot. If you want, you can even craft your weapon. Like rogues, they get stuck with daggers that have crit versatility. Well, if you want to spend 900 Conquest, you can craft your dagger with versatility and mastery. Hey, that is nice. I wish they would do something like that for trinkets, though. <laughs> you get stuck with whatever secondary stat is on the trinket. You can't change that. They do need to add some kind of missive or something to change the trinket stats because you can craft the trinkets too. We're pushing them back now. Got a pretty good lead, I guess. 44 to 60. Question is, do we want to try and take out their mage? The mage counts for 30 points, but if the mage is too hard to take out, we might be in for it. We are starting to push the flag a little bit. I guess we're going to chase them a little bit here and see if we can try to keep capping the flag along the way. This obviously is before the first season started, and if memory serves, I guess that's what really happened. The NPCs really were not starting slapping face until the season started a week later. Hey, kill the Blood DK, got him. We'll figure this out though, because there's, like I said, there's a few videos where we're going through and everything is just totally dominating and... We've drawn out a couple ILCs. We had to farm a couple matches straight to zero because the boss was unkillable. Nobody had any kind of gear whatsoever. <laughs> Pretty crazy, man. I don't know how Blizzard can release a match like that and then say, hey, oh, we didn't do any testing whatsoever. <laughs> They're not going to come out and say they did no testing, but you could tell they did no testing, man. The amount that they were overtuned was just insane. Now, if that was a raid that would have came out and the tanks were getting too tapped, yeah, you would have heard a lot more backlash, I'm sure. But PvP is the underdog of the game. Blizzard does not really care about PvP. They maybe care a tiny bit about rated PvP, but that's it, you know. They're putting all their eggs into this solo BG experience as well, too. It's pretty much going to take out rated battlegrounds the way that solo queue killed the arena. Hardly anybody plays Arena nowadays, and if you do, it's just because, A, you might be able to get a couple cheeky wins and try to get some progress towards your mount. Nobody really is trying to push rating. Hell, even the greats of the game, they don't push rating until the final, what, two weeks of the season to try to get their elite glad status anyway and get that rank one, right? They don't play the entire season. They'll play and get up there so high, probably get 2100, 24, maybe. And then they'll stop playing and switch to an alt for the rest of the season and just keep doing it that way. <laughs> Nobody sits there and plays the entire season at the same level, right? That's just because there's not enough people queuing up. You'll get into that high bracket. It'll probably take a long time for them queues to pop if Blizzard even tries to get the matchmaking even halfway close. It's bad enough, you know. You'll be first queuing up. Your rating is zero, and you'll pop into a match versus some rank one glads. <laughs> that is not a fun time, that's for sure. I don't know why Blizzard thinks that would be a great idea, but hey, you'd be better off fighting bots for your first couple matches than fighting rank ones. Hey, grip one in. I'll take the killing blow on that tank. 29 to 52. We are still pushing them, though. Doesn't look like we're going to get a chance to take out their mage. Try to get this healer down. Isa, almost close. Nice, that little root beam there helped out. Made them so they can't heal themselves. Priest got so many oh shit buttons, man. It's kind of ridiculous for real. And a lot of the healing classes have been getting more. Like the shaman, it's got burrow now. As if they didn't have enough already. <laughs> We're pulling in the blood decay. Is that a good idea? Maybe when the blood decay is this far away from their healers, they can die. Yeah, it looks like they can die. Bye bye Purgatory, lights out. Got another one up there, too. 25 to 51, man. Nice little comeback we had in this match. It looked like it was pretty bleak in the beginning, but we have turned it around. Looks like they still had the same five healers as when the match started, so nobody had left and backfilled. Usually that happens a lot. When one team starts totally losing, they will have a bunch of team members leave out and then you'll backfill and maybe fight an entirely different team it happens for sure granted i mean this match they may not have left because they were winning at the beginning 
More Death Knight action. No, get some DK on DK. Crime's going to take him out. Nope, he's going to get away. Who's got the most damage for their blood DKs? I don't see any blood DKs on the damage meter, but their unholy is most. It's number four overall, actually. Well, probably number three. As you can see over on the right side, the damage done. Longview is up there twice. Well, Blizzard made a serious mistake when they did the combat log update. Now, when they put your name into the combat log, it has your server region as well. It will say your name dash server dash region now. And that messes up a lot of add-ons for sure. You have to go through, look at all the names in the combat log, remove the region from the name, and then you can start putting it back in with the rest of the stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't know why they made that change though. I guess because they're going to start putting other regions playing together maybe? What would be the only reason to, to do that, right? It would have to be for cross-region play, getting some of them in there. And some of the servers they might have duplicated on different regions. That's why it might need the region name too. In case it ever would come across somebody with the same name on the same server but in a different region. That would be one error collision that would be a problem I could see. Six kills left to go though. We should be fine. Now yeah, look at the evoker coming in. Got him hit with slow and chains of ice. Finish him. Nice. There's another evoker to the five by with the turn. I don't know man. That turn, I don't know if I like that. Hey, at least it's not the other wall yet. Can they do the turn on that one wall that blocks everything? I don't know. That wall is pretty annoying because not even your own team can DPS through that or heal through it either. Once you're inside there, if you're not inside that wall, you can't do anything to anybody inside. It's nuts, man. You can wall off your own team. Whoever thought that was a great idea, I don't know. One more kill. Who's going to be the last victim here? Is it the Hunter? Hunter? Yeah, it was. Nice game, man. Looks like I had seven killing blows and three deaths. Not so bad. I had 221 million healing. Kill you for the top hills. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.